What's up guys? This is Mike. This is the very first episode of Physics Anonymous. And I know what you're thinking. This looks really crappy. Let's see if we can do something about that. Yeah, that's better. So, what are we doing on the Physics Anonymous channel? Well, we're just gonna build some stuff. Uh, as you can see, I've got a few things to do that with. Um, I think the first thing we're gonna start with is a little bit of uh, decoration up here. So, let's work on that. Okay, for project number one, I figured we would just go ahead and uh, make a nice logo for the studio. So, this is kind of what we're after here. This is the Physics Anonymous logo. Uh, you can see this is kind of our layout here, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so we're at the uh, laser cutter here. Um, this is the first time you've seen the laser cutter, so I'll tell you just a little bit about it. It's a uh, custom built. Uh, laser cutter uh, based on uh, a cheap Chinese 40 watt cutting laser you can get on eBay. Uh, there's very little of that left. The only thing that I'm using from that is the uh, the tube itself and the high voltage power supply. Uh, the rest of the frame is all custom built. Uh, a lot of 3D printed parts. Uh, the software is running on an Arduino and a Ramps 1.4 board. Uh, the software is an open source uh, laser cutter software called Lasersore. Uh, you can Google that and find the information you need. The project's been dead for a few years, but uh, the source code is still available. Uh, if you're interested in the firmware that we're running, uh, let me know. I'm happy to give you a link to the GitHub where it is located. Uh, one more thing to remember with using the laser cutter, always use your safety glasses. I'm not a big fan of safety equipment in general. It tends to hurt me more than it helps me, but in this case, uh, yeah, I'm gonna wear them. And I'm not afraid to look like an idiot on YouTube anyway. Hmm. That's weird. Whatever. going to wire these up temporarily uh, just to see exactly what they look like on the wall before I decide on how far away they should be from the wall. <music> test shot here. I've got uh, a little remote that I can turn on the lights with. There you go. Uh, I can change the colors to whatever I want. So I'm looking for kind of the closest to the wall I can get it and still have the light diffused. 
So I think probably, probably right about there. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this week. Stick around until next week when we get that on the wall. See you later. Like and subscribe.